This is a video by Richpin. Today we're mo removing a dash cluster out of a Gen 2 Saturn. Now the first thing you need to do is take the dash pad off. In the middle it's held on by two 7mm head screws with little covers. You can pry the covers off. And we have to take the screws out. Now, once you get the screws out, we need to pop the cover up. I'm using a panel removing tool here, but a screwdriver will work. Now, remove the dash pad. Underneath there will be a little foam piece. Take that out of the way. Now there is a cover underneath the steering column right here with a bunch of 7mm head screws. We need to get that next. Now there's even some screws that go through the OBD2 connector down here that also has to be removed. Now the hood release handle is mounted to this cover and you can leave it on. Just let the cover hang. Or if you want you can take the handle off this piece. There's the cover. You can just let it hang. Now we have to take out the bolts that hold the column up. There are two bolts underneath there. They are very long bolts. Now when you get the last bolt just about ready to come out, watch for the steering column because it will come down. Be prepared for that. Now we have to take this little bezel out of the way. There are some little push pins here. You push the center in the pin and then remove the pin. And then there's a couple of little clips. And the dimmer switch is also on this bezel, but you can just leave that connected also and just let it hang down. Now we can get at the 7mm head screws that hold the cluster in place. Now here on the back side, 
is the electrical connectors that go into the cluster and if you can look closely you can see some red little locks we've got to take those locks out before we can remove the electrical connectors take out these little locks now I'm using a screwdriver here just to get these connectors out there's two of them video is going to end here but just two screws back here and then you're all done